Hey guys, Scott here, and today in the Eastwood Garage, I'm helping the video guys and fabricating a floor pan for their go-kart build. This needs to be functional, but also look good too. So the Eastwood Elite 27 inch bead roller paired with our drive motor system is gonna be the best bet to add strength and style to the floor without the need of a helper. I've already made a cardboard template and laid out my designs, which includes the beads I'll be rolling as well as some speed holes that'll be punched using our punch and bead dies. Now this game plan's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and transfer these designs to my metal and start fabricating. Getting started transferring this pattern over to metal is as easy as squaring up the corners to minimize wasted metal. From here, a scribe along the outside edges makes a clear indicator of where to cut once the cardboard has been removed. I like to clamp down a straight edge when using the electric shears to guide my cut. This takes out any chance of driving all over the place while cutting. Once the base metal is cut to size, it's a lot easier to work with when transferring the lines over for bead rolling and the marks for our punch bead dies. A quick trick to transfer over the lines is to cut through the cardboard with a razor blade and the straight edge will scratch the metal below. The automatic center punch makes quick work blasting through the cardboard, leaving a perfect spot to start drilling for the punch and bead die. Since seeing where to bead roll is extremely important, I highlighted the scribe marks with a black marker which wouldn't wear off through the next steps. Before bead rolling can begin on a large panel, it's important to pre-stretch the metal. Our weapon of choice for this step is the English wheel as this allows you to quickly stretch the metal up in the right area to be bead rolled. Pre-stretching the metal with a bead roller will stop large panels from getting the dreaded tin can effect after bead rolling. You'll notice as I begin to roll beads in the metal, which has already been pre-stretched, it falls nicely into the groove and allows the panel to flatten back out. A bead roller has an incredible amount of uses, from adding strength to the panels with beads forming complex curves with our forming dies, or artwork with the right dies. I chose to pair our bead roller drive system for today's work as to not require someone to crank for me. It lets me dial in the speed I need and then use the foot pedal to activate and start rolling. Now back to the spots that were center punched. We need to drill these up to a half inch hole to allow the center bolt to pass through. I achieve this by popping a 1 8 pilot hole followed by a step bit. With all my holes drilled, the most important part when starting with the punch and bead or punch and flare dies is lubrication. Make sure to get both sides and the cutting portion to ease the cutting and forming step. Hand threading the bolt through until finger tight minimizes any chance of a misalignment or cross threading. Now all it takes is a couple spins of your ratchet to seamlessly cut through the steel and form a raised bead around the outside. Just keep tightening until firm resistance is felt to ensure a properly formed bead when finished. Quick tip, check that your metal is properly inserted when you begin to avoid pressing the bead in the wrong direction. With the beads rolled and the holes punched, we have added a significant amount of strength to this once flimsy sheet of metal. After test fitment, we need to drill a couple of holes for the seat bolts to pass through our new floor. A pilot hole and a step bit make this job a breeze. To finish off the panel for aesthetics, we use the radius edge dies to roll the back lip to mirror the curve of the frame's tubing. We voted to leave this floor panel in a bare metal look to add a nice contrast to the black frame. Wanting a brushed look just involved taking a maroon scuff pad and our pre-paint prep to wet sand the metal, which leaves a nice brushed appearance. Before any paint job can start, it's exceedingly important to ensure a thoroughly clean surface. Don't be afraid to keep cleaning until the rag comes back clean. Since adding beads increases the panel strength drastically, we wanted a clear which would complement its strength. Exo Armor was the perfect choice. This two-part catalyzed product will chemically cure to the surface, leaving you with a great bare metal look without the worry of rusting. Simply pour the desired amount of each part into the glass jar and stir 
to achieve a cloudy yellow mixture which doesn't separate. One item to note about the clear is that it requires a waiting period as it gets ready for use. During this time, it'll begin to clear up, which is perfectly normal. Since Exo Armor goes on extremely thin compared to normal clear coat, I like to dab off the excess prior to application on a perfectly clean, lint-free cloth. After a couple days of full cure, it's time to install the floor in its final location on the go-kart. So we just finished the floor pan and it's exactly what Joe and Dave needed. Something that's gonna protect their feet, be strong, and look good. The drive motor system made this easy to use the bead roller by myself, and we also added some extra strength by using the punch and bead dies in the front and in the rear. For any of the tools we used here, you can follow the link on screen or visit eastwood.com.